The ibrutinib stopped the combination of uh, other drugs like tamsirolimus uh, and uh, bortezomib treatment for mental cell lymphoma. So these old drugs are already improved uh, either in the US or in the Europe or in the both countries. But there are some other drugs which are coming, uh, like the new anti-CD20 antibodies, the obinutizumab, the ABT199, which is anti-apoptotic drug. So, so we are in a, in, a, in a good way, in a good direction uh, to the future. We now we have the experience mainly in the relapsed refractory population of the patients, and we are moving into the first line. Just a couple of weeks ago, a paper in New England Journal of Medicine was published and this paper describes the study combining the bortezomib plus cyclophosphamide, adriamycin and prednisone comparing to the classical RCHOP and it has been demonstrated that there is significant improvement in terms of the progression-free survival and there is some hint that in the future could be as well the overall survival benefit although up to now there is a no significant difference. So I think that uh, with the other drugs we probably will move in the same di di direction and I should mention the European Mantel Cell Lymphoma Network uh, which is uh, the consortium of the national lymphoma study groups which are dealing with the mental cell and uh, there are two trials, one for the younger patient which is testing ibrutinib as a part of the first line treatment and uh, the other trial for the elderly population which is testing the lenalidomide um, maintenance treatment together with the rituximab. So this is the future to bring the drug into aerial phases, into initial phases of the mantle cell lymphoma treatment.